Hey guys, this is Fire Phoenix with part two of the Forever Mystery Extra. This is Vanilla Drop. Um, I, I actually, for the first time in ages, went and I didn't. I, I edited the palettes on this level because they were ouch. Um, so yeah, this was originally so pretty much one of my first attempts at truly redoing a level. Yay, blank message box. Uh, yeah, one of my first attempts at trying to redo a level. It didn't come out too bad. Uh, the way I fell past those pipes over there, I w they were supposed to have some layer priority on them. It didn't work. For whatever reason. Uh, basically I need to carry the P-switch with me. The first message block tells you about that. You can go up there, there's a, there's a secret exit up here that you need to have the blue switch for. about that. So, we'll keep going this way. If you go back and listen to me running past hitting those coins, you might hear a familiar tune. And I added this little springboard here because that wasn't that didn't used to be there, so made things really difficult for people, or would have, because it's essentially a blind jump with no protection at the end. Uh, that pipe leads to one of those coin guess bonus games, and then right back to there, so there's no point. Let's see, what's next? No name. Which one was this? Oh. But uh, there's another carryover from that old game. The older game of mine. This is basically a Yoshi's Island, or Star World 3 remake. Complete with miscolored Yoshis because of problems. Yeah, whatever get the key out of the left one, you put it in the keyhole in the other. Lime Cavern is another unfinished level, very unfinished. It's actually the what I turned Donut, or no, uh, Vanilla Dome 4 into. For any of you who've seen the Super Mario World Deja Vu thing, uh, with the me flying everywhere, or no, with like Bullet Bill Frenzy, I think it was called. You can... That's the result. Or, that's what this level is. Was. Something. I know words. I use words all the time. So yeah, while all the sprites are still here, you can still get through if you manage to fly. So, that was a level I never finished got anywhere near finishing. I'll do that one in a moment. Which was this? Chunk? Oh. Oh yeah, this was... I used this room as a teaser or something. So I just threw a pipe in here. Uh, I was gonna have some ruins area using Z Metroid Zero Mission graphics. But that didn't pan out. And instead I transferred that over to another ROM. Pipe atmosphere will take a little while. Frozen Lake. Jeez, I'm thinking I might even need a third video. I hope I don't. Maybe I can go fast through stuff. Crystallized Cavern. This is going to be an icy cavern thing. Self drawn graphics. Oh, wow. Such an accomplishment. 
they're so difficult. They're so complicated. You're not supposed to have the yellow switch at this point, so it's a secret exit. And there's a Yoshi that's been in here forever. Someone from the outside, finally. So, the original plan was to use him to get to the secret exit. Uh, I got to about, I don't know, I want to say about halfway into the level and then that was it. Cave of Inversion, Hidden Grotto. Cave of Inversion first. This was another interesting concept level, basically. You can see there's like crazy inversion going on. There's blocks in the way, so taking pipes flips the inversion and allows you to continue. And it'll also change like when what's oh shoot, that was dumb. just changes the colors and what blocks are there. The blocks aren't even blocks, they're just solid tiles. But yeah, that was the end of that level. Hidden Grotto, another carryover thing. It was basically just a big bonus area. As you can see, because it's all just like coins. have a message block in a box thing, but I guess I replaced it with the star one, so I don't know. Uh, Frozen Lake. What's, oh, nothing. I thought I saw. This is basically Star World 2 remake, and I decided to be weird with breakable, fireball breakable blocks. At least I made sure to give the player lots of fire flowers. Because they were so important in this level. Not much to say. It's a simplistic. It feels like a, Mar a Mario World level, except it's got too much fish and too many gimmicks. Like too many. I don't know. Just not very good. And then there's the exit. There's the key. Go back in the hole. Colored Yoshi's because of palette and things. So, uh, well, now I won't have time to beat this. What the hell? Why did the yellow switch turn blue? Where? Okay. Now I don't have time to beat the pipe atmosphere. So it looks like we're gonna get a third special episode. <sighs> well, alright then. This has been Fire Phoenix, exploring the beta stuff of the Forever Mystery. So I'll see you in a bit at the last level.